where Tinumbu in Mecca for Umrah. But if Peter Obi goes to church, they'll be crying. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinumbu, is in Mecca for Umrah ahead of the forthcoming presidential election in February. It was reported on Saturday that Tinumbu was in Saudi Arabia after denying meeting with G5 governors of the People's Democratic Party in London. His media aide, Tunde Rahman, said Tinubu will be back in Nigeria within the next two days to continue with the campaign. Well, he went to Umar, fine, if that's what he wants, if he believes in that, why? Why not? But the question is that people have been going to Umrah, it has not really been, or going to Mecca for Umrah or whatever, let me not miss it up. It's, it depends on where you want to go. So it has become a taboo now, now because the, the kind of a acceptance, acceptance or acceptability of people to Peter B is what is giving a lot of people headache, which I really, really understand. But saying going to church is a taboo or whatever is what I don't understand. This man has gone to Mecca, so why should anybody complain about that? They should all be praying to God for forgiveness for the leadership with bad physical conditions they have left to the poor masses and not campaigning. May God grant him long life and good health in his house and not also rocked by God's grace. Oh. Most of our politicians going to church or monks to pray so that they will win election. They should also ask God for forgiveness oh, because <clears throat> most of them, their hands are full of blood of innocent souls. They have to confess where well, they will always complain. Someone that wants to move forward this year should complain less, think less about negative things. Even if Tinubu travels to heaven, he, uh, the will of the Almighty God must surely prevail. Peter B. We know. Soon, all our national decisions making will be concluding here if God doesn't even intervene. But in Nigeria, mosque, he will sit on a chair. If Obi attends church, they will be crying. Nigeria's beloved next president, may your days be long. The Sebuari was sick, and here we are. May God give you the strength to protect Nigeria to greatness. Nigeria is not, Buhari is not sick now, but is Nigeria whole? Is, is Nigeria not sick? I thought that they will offer him a seat as a must in Nigeria do. Please remain there so that Nigerians can have free and peaceful election in February and March. What baffles me is how wicked people keep going to Holy Land and coming back remaining wicked. I thought they said when bad people go to Mecca, they don't return. How come our politicians go there and return even more joyous? Or was that assertion a lie from beginning? He should ask God for forgiveness for bringing Buhari and APC to punish Nigerians with high cost of living, fuel scarcity, insecurity, poverty, hardships, and so on. Hmm, Ashwaju, the incoming president. Too close to each other is part of the support for Tinubu. It is only Almighty Allah that puts people in position of authority. They all need to pray for the intervention of Allah in artificial hardship. Our so-called leaders and politicians cost in Nigeria. Even if uh, God is the one that gives power, so does it mean people will not vote? People will still go and vote now. If majority of the people say, "Okay, this is what we want," I don't understand. God, you must do your part as a as as a citizen. May we not see evil after the one we have just seen. The demons of APC will be defeated. A failed government of APC and candidates which will never return to power again in Nigeria. Baba, pray for good health and come back to rest. Leave this presidential race. I go tell her, make you leave a presidential race. So this person is for you. So leave it for who now? Uh -huh. Until he, he will do it to the last, last do it to the last. Uh -huh. If they say okay, oh, they no one time oh, good and fine, good and fine, they will do. He will do the needful. That can't change anything. Nigerians will decide this election. In Nigeria, most Tinubu will be sitting down, but see him in Mecca standing. Foreign countries must humble Nigeria politicians. Nigeria is where they lose seat and disobey law. Victory assured by God's grace. Incoming President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. God is not foolish at all. One million Umrah cannot tell all those that weaponize poverty, evade its wrath, and taste bitterness the so into Nigeria's life. Punch is celebrating Tinubu being in Mecca. 
if they see you be in church, the same punch will report it negatively. Tinubu boys, we knew you guys. When you cannot question a man's capacity, ability, and energy, we saw many dirty daily surrounding him. It made the country crazy. Let us hear punch discuss about Tinubu's fraud and drug dealers, age issues, identity issue of schools uh, is very, very important. I used to respect Eribadu a lot until he became a desperate chancer like the rest of the thieving politicians he fought for so long. If Baba is in Nigeria, he will be sitting on a chair inside mosque. But look at him walking up and down inside the Arabia. What did I know? When a town hall meeting is different from Balabulu. If he lies, so we go to anywhere to seek for juju power to win election. All I all what I know is already a failure. He can't even be a president in Nigeria to continue from the hard aboki puts Nigeria into rest in peace of retirement. Bola Tinumbu, but Bola can't stand alone without subordinate. Those standing beside him are supposed to allow a little space. We want to see something. Wait till you want to see. Wait till you go for it. Where you want to see. Tell, 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 tell us. This town all is different from Balabulu. Why didn't he sit in Mecca the way he always did in Nigeria Mosque? We don't even value ourselves. Humanity is the key. Hala will not give power to the wicked. APC governments have done their worst ever. It is time to take back our country from them. It is time to take it to take it back from them. If not, hi. Hey, you go, you go red, So guys, let us hear your opinion and have your take on this.